Hi, I'm Hope from At Hope Broidery, and this is how to use an embroidery hoop. I recommend having the screw to the right side if you're right-handed and to the left if you're left-handed. Loosen the screw and separate the outer hoop, which has the hardware at the top, from the inner hoop. Place your fabric over your inner hoop. You don't have to do what I do, but I like to have the lines and the weave of my fabric going more or less up and down versus diagonally. Don't worry too much about this. It's really just a personal preference. Now place your outer hoop on top of your inner hoop. It's really important to make sure your fabric is in your hoop super tight. This will help you stitch much more easily. Now at this point, you only want to tighten that screw enough so that the outer and inner hoops aren't separating. Next, I'll trim all this excess fabric away. You don't need these specific scissors. They're meant to help prevent the fabric from fraying, but when you're doing embroidery in a hoop, that isn't a huge concern, so use whatever scissors you have available to you. Now you'll pull on your fabric all the way around until it's nice and tight. Having your fabric nice and tight like a drum will make stitching much easier, so this is a very important step. A lot of hoops hardware include notches, so you can use a screwdriver to get your fabric even tighter. Once I know my fabric is as tight as it can be, I'll do one more trim around the fabric. Make sure to leave about an inch or so of fabric all the way around so you can back your hoop when you're done. I hope this was helpful. I'll leave a few helpful links in the description of this video, including a link to my blog where I post beginner-friendly embroidery tutorials like this, and to my shop where you'll find these hoops, embroidery scissors, kits, and loads of other things. Happy stitching!